what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will continue with our discussion on dispositors and dispositors and dispositors what are dispositors i already made a video if you have not watched it then please go back and watch otherwise you may feel oh my god what is this person talking all right if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and check my other videos on transit and the bhagavad gita and different other videos on omg astrology secrets which i have made all right before beginning as i always say god is there with you all the time at least sometimes <laughs> just look to him and he will help you to find the right dispositors well dispositor as per definition is the ruler of a sign where a planet is placed for example if jupiter is in the sign of cancer then cancer is ruled by the planet moon therefore we say moon is the dispositor of jupiter if mars is in the sign of pisces pisces is ruled by jupiter so jupiter is the dispositor of mars now what i want to discuss is i have already discussed about how we see the dispositors where they are placed the dignity of the dispositor is very important for example if a uh, sun is placed in a particular sign but irrespective of however sun is in that either it's a water sign or fire sign or air sign or earth sign if the dispositor the ruler of that sign is well placed then the traits of sun are much prominently present in the person in compared to that if the dispositor is not very well placed now what i want to discuss here is suppose venus is the dispositor of jupiter venus is the dispositor of jupiter means jupiter is either sitting in taurus or libra because then jupiter is sitting in the sign ruled by venus so venus is the dispositor of jupiter then what happens is see it is like zodiac sign is like your home and planet is like you <laughs> that's the difference so for example if jupiter is sitting in the sign of taurus or in the sign of libra then it means that jupiter is sitting in the house of venus and jupiter is affecting venus that way it is getting affected and it is also affecting venus not only the dispositor affects the planet for example dispositor means if jupiter is sitting in the sign of venus either taurus or libra then jupiter will behave as if it is like a venusian jupiter do you understand that means whenever it comes to spiritual pursuits which is jupiter he will be more concerned with his finances and he will be more concerned with his marriage or family rather than going towards god his expansion his conception of what spiritual life is will be totally based on his material calculations for example if jupiter is placed in signs of venus then the person will only take to spirituality if there is a major calamity in his life if his venusian things are hampered only then he will take otherwise he will be like why do i need to go to god i am happy here <laughs> so that's how jupiter behaves but now let us see how venus will behave for example if jupiter is sitting in either in taurus or in the sign of libra which both of them are ruled by venus then whenever we study <coughs> venus <coughs> we have to take jupiter into account because now see it is like you are like the dispositor you are like venus now libra and taurus are the signs ruled by venus which means both of them are like the home of venus yes so now suppose you you have uh, suppose you have gone to holiday uh you have gone to paris suppose to see the eiffel tower but if you come to know that in your home 
there is a good person who is sitting there then what will happen you will feel much better right <laughs> or if you come to know that in your home there is a terrible enemy sitting there or a terrible malefic then what will happen even if you are outside you will feel very miserable yes do you understand no okay i will explain for example if mercury is sitting either in taurus or in the sign of libra then venus is the dispositor of mercury and venus and mercury are natural friends and mercury is also a natural benefic then what happens then venus will be wherever venus is placed suppose venus is placed anywhere in anybody's chart then venus will be able to perform much better because now in his home a benefic and his very good friend is sitting that mercury will try to color venus that mercury will try to help venus because both of their uh, biplanetary relationship they are friends on the other hand if there is a planet like sun or mars who is sitting in either taurus or either libra then you will always notice that these people whenever it comes to relationship they are too much egoistic or they are too much dominating or they will try to force the other person to do something and they will try to get things done from the spouse or force them to do what they want them to do rather than seeing what they want because sun and mars represent those kind of authority power submission these traits now because sun or mars if they are sitting in either taurus or libra then these traits will play so this is how you uh, know about the dispositors and how the planets sitting in the houses of the dispositor will color them their effects will be there because see whenever we say dispositor it what it means basically is disposit means to put right so when we say that venus disposits jupiter then venus is the planet who is carrying the energy of jupiter you understand whenever jupiter is in signs of venus venus is carrying the energy of jupiter so it is like <coughs> suppose there is a person <coughs> who is sitting in your home yes that not only <coughs> is he getting affected by the energy of your home you are also getting affected by his energy do not forget that people will always say that the planet affects the sign or the house which it sits in or oh, sorry people say that the sign or the house where the planet is sitting for example the sun is sitting in the sign of aries which is its exaltation then the sign of aries will uh, affect the sun in a good way sun is sitting in the sign of libra it is debilitated that means what libra is affecting the sun yes but people don't say this that the planet which is sitting in a house will affect the dispositor so for example what you will often see in your astrological journey is if the planet ketu is situated in either taurus or libra then what is happening venus is the dispositor of ketu then venus is carrying the energy of ketu because it is dispositing now ketu is sitting in the house of venus so whenever it comes to be venus ketu will always act that means whenever it comes to relationships the person can undergo some level of frustration or some level of confusion because ketu is that headless planet which doesn't know what to do when to do where to do how much to do how much not to do yes therefore and it is also spiritual wisdom so uh, no not wisdom exactly <coughs> it is kind of the yogi who goes after spiritual wisdom when he doesn't find fulfillment 
so if ketu is placed in the signs of venus then what happens <coughs> venus will carry the energy of ketu that means suppose the person gets married <coughs> either it's a man or he's a girl then what will happen is he might he or she might encounter such situations within his marriage that the spouse may have to keep going and coming for job or due to some reason they may not have a very great relationship or due to some reason they may feel we are not very happy so then what they should do they should uh, perform spiritual activities together then the condition of ketu who is who is affecting the houses of venus will get satisfied because if you look at the other way around if you reverse it then wherever ketu is sitting if it is sitting in a water sign or fire sign that means it is very good for spirituality but if it is sitting in a air sign or a earth sign then it is not very happy there because air signs and earth signs are the houses of the signs of money and enjoyment physical hoarding and ketu doesn't likes hoarding he says just leave everything go towards god so you will now now see why i said venus because venus rules the earth sign and the air sign because venus rules taurus and libra taurus is earth sign libra is a air sign therefore whenever ketu sits in the signs of venus things related to venus may not give us great satisfaction because see what happens things related to venus means the mundane things of venus which is like relationships love romance sexuality all these traits because what happens the moment you activate venus you will activate the houses let me give you an example suppose somebody is a capricorn ascendant all right and for capricorn which houses does venus rule venus rules the 5th house and the 10th house because the sign taurus falls in the 5th house which is number 2 and the sign 7 which is libra falls in the 10th house so for a capricorn ascendant venus rules a kendra and a trikon that means if ketu is placed either in the 5th house or in the 10th house then wherever venus is placed some energy of ketu will be there because he is carrying the energy of ketu ultimately should i repeat venus is carrying ketu's energy so for example if for a capricorn ascendant ketu is in the 10th house in libra and venus is in the 7th house in the sign of cancer then what happens is whenever it comes to the first relationship or the first marriage ideally first marriage is supposed to be the last marriage but these days it doesn't happen like that necessarily so if venus is sitting in the sign of cancer and ketu is either in taurus in the 5th house or in libra in the 10th house then if venus is in the 7th house then the first relationship can have some flavor of ketu <laughs> where you might feel that okay things are not working that great so then what to do should we separate or should we not no don't separate just practice uh, spirituality together get up in the morning chant chant mantras read the holy scriptures the biggest remedy for all malefics is to take to spirituality that is like the end of it all there is no better remedy there was and there will not be and there cannot be and there probably should not be also because the only thing the malefics is trying to teach us is the lessons of the scriptures for example lord krishna says in the gita that you will find more happiness if you dwell in me rather than dwelling in this material world because this material world is compared to a prison house where we are undergoing our desires the treatment of our desires accordingly as per our own set of desires and our karma some of them get fulfilled some of them don't get fulfilled so by this what happens is we come to know that ultimately by running after our desires we are not going to find highest level of fulfillment there it somehow cannot happen because 
द सोल ऑन अल्टीमेट लेवल इज सचित आनंद फुल ऑफ इटर्निटी नॉलेज एंड ब्लेस इट इज प्योर स्पिरिट चित्ता इज प्योर स्पिरिट एक्चुअली इट्स नॉट चित्ता इट्स चित्त चित्त एंड चित्ता आर डिफरेंट चित्त इज द प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस द पार्ट ऑफ गॉड द इटर्नली कनेक्टेड लिविंग एंटिटी विच इज द स्पिरिट सोल एंड चित्ता वेन यू एड आ बिकॉज इन सैंस्क्रिट द डिफरेंस इज वेरी इंटिकेट इन वेरी स्मॉल इन स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ वोकेबुलरी इफ यू इफ यू चेंज इट इन देन द होल मीनिंग चेंजेस सो चित्त इज द प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस दैट दैट सोल एंड चित्ता रेफर्स टू द कॉन्शियसनेस विच हैज गॉट एंटेंगल्ड that consciousness which has stopped his or her inquisitiveness about god and is now running behind mundane things like opposite sex money name fame position power influence affluence beauty sexuality love romance so chit and chitta both are different you see <laughs> so basically whenever uh, ketu is sitting in signs of venus we have to understand that apart from being married to somebody now ketu stays in a sign for one and a half years so does it mean that everybody who has ketu either in taurus or in the sign of libra they will not be happy no i didn't say that i simply said that their venusian things will improve if they practice spirituality because whenever a planet is sitting in your house which is the house of venus you have to honor that planet you just cannot wish away from it <laughs> similarly suppose if if the planet saturn is sitting in signs of venus for example if saturn is exalted in libra or saturn is in taurus then venus disposes saturn that means saturn will try to impart its traits into venus therefore these people yes i am saying exalted saturn also these people can have late marriages these people can have uh, their marriage can be very much of a responsibility and they should behave that way actually so for example suppose saturn is in taurus or it is in libra and there are certain difficulties in your marriage or your relationships and you are feeling that no no i cannot continue this relationship it, it's becoming very difficult well then stop even if you go to another person it will still be like that <laughs> it doesn't mean that you cannot be happy it simply means that you have to take responsibility for your actions you cannot be in cloud all the time you cannot be on a honeymoon mood all the time <laughs> because now saturn is the planet of restriction duty commitment structure discipline it is the planet of tolerance perseverance tenacity all these are the traits of saturn so unless you bring these traits into your marriage or into your relationship then you may feel that relationships are kind of a curse to me similarly if jupiter is sitting in any sign of mercury then then also you will feel that now jupiter will try to influence mercury it will get influence and it will also try to influence so then what happens you will realize that ultimately i have to do some spiritual practices by which my situations of mercury can improve and if you do not do that then you will feel that some of my mercury is not functioning properly you may not be able to mix with, well with people you may not be able to connect with people very easily because when mercury is well placed then people can connect to other people very easily depending on other factors of course but if mercury is not very well placed then people have difficulties in communication with other people so if mercury is the dispositor of jupiter which means if jupiter is either in the sign of Virgo or Gemini then suppose you are in a marketing industry you just cannot go on blabbing 
so if you speak lies or just to sell the product i'm just giving an example there can be so many other examples then uh, you will suffer terribly because sometimes uh, marketing agents to propel their the to put forward their agenda or the product they may speak things which are way beyond what is truth and jupiter doesn't like lies <laughs> so you will suffer terribly if you do that similarly if you are doing any kind of business in that also you have to maintain transparency you have to speak the truth very much i mean that has to be done everywhere but especially if jupiter is in the signs of mercury so therefore whenever you talk of things related to mercury you have to make sure that you are keeping jupiterian traits in that all right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments regarding dispositors or any other video then please let me know in the comments or if you want me to make any other video then also let me know in the comments and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with your family friends and loved ones all right with dispositors here wish you good luck until next time with another video bye bye see you